Peace to the world, Montara is here. Hello all. Welcome back to another stream of the Xenoblade Chronicles replaythrough, where we're playing through all of the Xenoblade Chronicles games. Last time... What did we do last time? Was that... Did we do Chapter 9 last time? I don't think we did. I think we just did a lot of missions. Or not Chapter 9, Chapter... Yeah, we didn't do Chapter 10. We did a lot of uh, random missions, I believe. Nothing too much. Nothing too much consequence. Anyway, I did do a little bit of uh, grinding, and in the process of, in order to see if I could get the stuff for the uh, for the uh, AP gain, the uh, AP gain, TP gain uh, augments. <laughs> Welcome, Twister. Uh, and in the process of that, we actually. Oh, we haven't maxed out Bastion Warrior? Never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything then. I thought we did ma max it out. We're very close to it though. Uh, that's a good one. Power TP gain, better stability, and a bunch of other random things. Night vision on a shield? What? Whatever, I think that that's fine. But yeah, welcome, Twister. We're about to do an affinity mission. Uh, a challenger approaches. We got Elma, Lynn, and Secretary Nagi. Brave friends, I come bearing a mission sure to leave its mark on Mirren history. I take it from the grand tone we're ready to form an alliance with the Rothians. Oh boy. That's correct, Colonel. Analysis of the data unit you retrieved is complete. It confirms that the Rothians have cut all ties with the Gangrel. Given that, an alliance between our races would indeed seem to be mutually beneficial. So yeah, I... <laughs> As such, I would ask you to deliver a uh, to I had an team. interesting thing today. I don't know As I was getting start, ready to uh, head to start. my uh, second class we'll today, I get a text on my phone okay. saying, the the there are reports of yes, shots fired near the campus. And then I'm just like, oh, okay. Then I get a call today confirming it from them. Well, get an email confirming it from them. Fun. Just like... Okay then, I guess I'm not going to class today. Today? <laughs> today? <laughs> I'm f obviously I'm fine. Whoa, what the heck? Bitrate just bitrate is going weird right now. <laughs> I th Hold on, did I say? But obviously I'm fine as the bitrate started to go terribly. Because if so, that's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, that happened. We got the all clear pretty soon afterwards. So I'm just like, still not going to go to class. I can... Because I, I had to print things off on campus anyway, so... By the time I would have gone, to, would have gotten to it, would have been most of the way through. I email my teacher before anything, just like might not be there unless the all clear is given like before before the class starts. It was 15 minutes after after class started that after the class was supposed to start that we got the all clear. So I think I'm fine. I think I'm in the clear for that. And I'll get a further. I'll get an actual confirmation when, uh, whenever she replies to the email. Yeah, as far as like, uh, nothing's been said about anything. Nothing's been said about uh, about anything. Everything seems to be fine. Oh yeah. Also, uh, <laughs> while I was doing random grinding, I got enough Meranium and I just, uh, max Sakuraba up to the very, ma to the, uh, on here. Um. 
I could get an up on up to the max right now. If I'm reading those, no, I'm not reading those numbers right at all. Never mind, I cannot do that. <laughs> not even close. I don't know why I thought I could. Whatever. Anyway, uh, remember this cave that we went to that one time when we were just exploring Oblivia to have fun? Yeah, that's where the Rothians uh, hide out. <laughs> like, I was trying to be all secretive, just like, oh, we're in this cave, that's cool. Maybe shoot Tatsu when he approach, so Tatsu strike first. This is a diplomatic mission. We'll just explain to them that we come in peace. We are from outer space. We technically are. You there. Halt. Are you aware that this cheek belongs to Prince Gachar? Yes, we know. We've come to speak with the prince. May we be granted an audience? The human knows her place. And yet, they cannot be trusted. We've met before. Hi, Zero. I am Garbui, adjunct to the prince. We have a letter for his highness. May we bring it to him? Do you know the circumstances? Post your newest emote. Now face, human. We heard you parted ways with the ganglion. That's why we're here. There you go. That was it's Bobby Bros Jr. with a bomb. With a bomb. Question, but I know you filled his head with strange ideas. I would not have it happen again. I made it partly as a joke because of a... Uh, because obviously if we had the thing trying to get Poppy Bros into trying to do the, the thing with Poppy Bros and during every Kirby 100%. But also, uh, John has, uh, Proton John has situations where uh, people donate, people gift a lot of subs to him. And usually we call those gift sub bombs. So I thought a uh, guy holding a bomb filled with love would be perfect for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that happening here, but just to spam on John's channel, because this is, once again, this isn't, all of these emotes are just things that I wanted to spam. I don't have things I actually... <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I'm insist yeah, we see the prince. Crucial negotiation. A no part. Ha, we Rothians know of your people, of your avarice and greed. That is true. Prince Gajar can do this. No, I'll not see his highness led astray by your poison tongues. If you would force your will this day, you must win that right in combat. Such is the Rothian way. <laughs> yeah, they're my they're my emotes and I'll do what I want. <laughs> also, I don't expect anybody to really even if they want to subscribe to me, I don't expect anybody to do the uh, twenty, the uh, twenty-five, the uh, ten-dollar, twenty-five-dollar ones. I will accept. Wait, stop! No, this is our only choice. We're guests of the Rothians. This is their way. We have no choice but to obey. Spoken like a true warrior. Time to kill the cats. Let's get some curiosity out here. So unlike the uh, boss fight, you can actually, uh, unlike the boss fight, you can actually, uh, um, what's it called, uh, use your skeleton if we need to, which seems kind of unfair, but also it's just kind of funny. Let's go for Mindstorm because they're getting a bit weak. Oof, Nagi's dead. Hey guys, keep tension up. Hey, we finally got the uh, last class thing. Hey, 
Uh, I'm gonna run like a coward. Because this is over here. Don't worry, Elma. I'm back. Ugh, this is gonna be deadly. Thankfully, I got a phoenix. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm so sorry, Kabuti. Oh, come on, miss. You missed. How could you miss? She was three feet in front of you. Really sad that I can't, that I can't, uh... <laughs> Whoops. I'll keep trying. Uh, oh well. Alright. <sighs> not even gonna... Not even gonna play around with it. Wow, does she resist fire that much? She is strong. Also, we are not hitting her at all. She is a very good aura. That's not what I wanted. Do as you please. Keep your tension up, though. Yeah, hey, yeah. Let's uh go up. Let's get back into here. What the heck are you guys doing? What the heck have you guys been doing? I was wondering why I was only seeing Elma. <laughs> you two are off doing who knows what, playing tiddlywinks or something. Lynn, where even are you? Where even are you? Lynn, seriously, where are you? Alright, let's try that again. I'm gonna make sure that everybody else is with me before I actually attack them, apparently. 
Apparently that's something I need to make sure of. Okay, we got Nagi here. We got Lin. And Elma. Okay. All four of them are here. Use the phoenix to just blow them up a bit. Obliterate you with the gravity buster. Nice. Hey guys, keep your tension up for a bit. Can't move in, Elma. Don't have any arts for it. For the Phoenix. Go here. I'm gonna actually go for this. gonna wait for it. I am gonna go for a Mindstorm though. Okay, I can use... 
overdrive whenever now. No, Elma, I think I'm not gonna do that. There we go. Oof. That was difficult. Well, using uh, enhanced stand at that one point definitely is definitely what saved me. I have won my life. Take it now. I fought for the right to have Gajarg see this treaty, not to take anyone's life. <laughs> Bring them to me. But my prince. These warriors of Earth have followed our traditions and emerged victorious. To deny them now would shame us all. Your Highness. We played it by your we rules and we won. Here's the treaty. We're open to negotiations. We will provide you with as much milk as you want. I see. You propose that we stand together as enemies of the Ganglia. Our people don't have any reason to fight each other. No pun and humans are best friends now. Even more fun if kitty cats are friends too. Ah, the purity and innocence of you. Fostering that innocence is a part of our duty as adults. It's Wisdom comes from the mouth of babes. Seriously. As do I. The children of Roth live far from this place. It is their future that I fight for. Your Highness. You are called Elma, yes? Disgraceful though it may be, I must ask one condition. We lack medicine for our people. If you could aid us in this regard, I would be most grateful. I have far more respect for a leader who puts his people before his pride. Yeah, you should be proud of not being too proud, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. Then please grant me this boon. We can give you the specifics. When the Rothians are back to health, we will stand beside you as allies. Five medkits, stored supply, and civil arms. Stronghold. Oh, any objective. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, while it would seem obvious to go after, to just go to the guy in the residential district, it's actually, it probably actually would be easier to do it here. Plus, I have a better opportunity to get more phoenixes. Uh, phoenixes, it's the, uh, it's one of the arts I've been using on the skull. It's a very strong AoE that hits multiple enemies. And you can get it from, uh, the, uh, Night Pugilifts in, uh, Night Night Puges in here. In this base specifically. You messed with the wrong secretary.
What the heck? Was not expecting a tyrant here. Hot in December. That's why I remember. There we go, that's nice. Not expecting a tyrant right there, but eh, wasn't too bad to take out with the uh, skull with Nyx here. Okay, this is one that I've already beaten or opened up. I uh, remember when level 40 enemies were terrifying. Ah, oh, great, they aggroed something. They aggroed some Throne, obviously. Or Marnox, or whatever. Guys, seriously? Okay, I'm running. I'm running. We're separated from two. We're too separated, and too many things are. Too many things got involved into the fight. Not worth continuing. We did actually ma we did max out Bastion Warrior though, so that's something we can uh, do. We can start up on a, a new uh, what's it called? Start up on a new class. Hmm. Oh, Q again! <laughs> Hi, Bob! Don't have any melee attacks. They don't exist, Elma. Yeah, I can afford that.
Ooh, I not got another G Buster. Nice. Alright, how do we actually enter into this thing? They're just, uh, round. Alright, this is dagger him. So staggered, they're dead. Oh, okay. Just entered. All right, then. Back to the Rothians. So I, I told you about my interesting day. How's your day been? It was a slight feeling that your day was not, uh... It's not as, uh... <laughs> not as scarily eventful as mine. I don't know, you might have had just an eventful thing, but probably not as freaky as mine. Probably not uh, one you're just like, hmm, yeah, that's not something I really wanted to uh, get a uh, get a text about. Not as interesting as mine. <laughs> ah, whip scorpion, nice. But it was nice, that's good. Thank goodness. Everyone seems so happy. The bond between Rothians runs deep. Not being able to care for our comrades has been a heavy weight. Warriors of Earth, you have my thanks for your aid. From this spring day, cleaning, nice. Know that the Rothians stand with you. Thank you, your highness. However, this pact lived only as long as the Ganglion. Once they expire, so too does this alliance. Aww. It mirrors a harsh land. Should our survival mean your doom, it must be so. That's mean. Yeah, it might last longer than you think. If we remain because we face an enemy that demands it. A welcome prospect for any Rothian. It's not welcome at all. Let's all just be friends because... Well, just because. <laughs> we got the Rothians. We got a new, uh... A new arms manufacturer and six stars. Which is also why I was slightly hesitant to uh, get rid of Moranium. I'm just like, wait, no, that doesn't... Wait, no, let's not get rid of Moranium. That wouldn't be a smart thing to do right before we get a new AM. <laughs> so we're gonna donate a lot of Moranium to them right, right on this very second. 
on this very second, not in this second. Because the second had already passed, so therefore we're on it. That makes sense, right? Six stars, branch office of a Rothian conglomerate that monopolized the weapon market on the home planet. <laughs> on its home planet, its mainstay lineup consists of high power weapons and armor with high physical resistance. Yeah, let's uh, jumpstart you a bit. Singular lineup of armor wor armor worthy of the bold and battle-tested worthies to gain freedom from the cruel shackles of gravity. We got the Edge series. These twin swords of flames emit a keen flash and boast the power to rend evil. None but the worthiest may wield them. And we got the heavy wear. It's conviction that makes one strong, presenting the ultimate armor for those who refuse to retreat. Alright, uh, what level are we? We're 44. Nice! That lines up perfectly, cuz... Next thing we can do, we can head to the industrial district. And we can go talk to Rock and Celica. Remember those two? Good, yeah, cuz I don't. Nope, no restricted members. Nice. And for every single time we're doing a mission with Elma and Lynn, I'm just like, is Nagi gonna be restricted or not? I'm sorry, but my answer must remain no. I still don't see how this is asking too much, considering what we've done. You must understand. We know that Rock is being pursued by the gang, and yet we offered him asylum here in NLA nonetheless. See, in doing so, we have increased the odds of our city coming under attack. Shosan, settle down. Long before we arrive. That is correct. Which is precisely why I'm proposing we unite against them. We don't ask him to fight alone, merely that he lends his strength to ours. Does that request seem so unreasonable? A being like Rock would be a great asset in the field. It would be a shame to see that go to waste. Are you making deals here, or threats? Hey, Sounds a bit like a threat to me. I simply propose a mutually beneficial agreement. I do not appreciate your characterizing it as a threat. Why does he have to fight? I'm afraid New L.A. simply cannot spare resources for the idle. Especially those who require such a prodigious amount of food. I mean, I fair, but why does he have to, to fight? His keep as a citizen. But sir, Rock is a pacifist. He doesn't want to fight. Thank you, truly. But it is all right. What do you mean? Rock and I shall discuss the matter and come to a decision shortly. Is that satisfactory? Of course. I do hope you can both see reason in this matter. Shazan, I like ya. You're being a bit too heavy-handed with this, though. Don't worry about him. We have plenty of non-combatants around here. Blade membership is entirely voluntary. But I feel terrible for not fighting when I'm so big. It's just selfish, you know? It's not selfish, Rob. You are a kind and beautiful soul. Oh. Never be ashamed for choosing peace. Pretty lady is correct. Rock is a good boy. Once in whole life, and Tatsu never feels shame. Huh. Thanks. I think. Sorry about that. Had to move my pop filter a bit. Right here. I have an idea. Where are you going? Don't you worry about a thing. Just give me a little time. Bye, Celica. Can you find Alm for us? New friend in LA, in LA. Silica came up with the idea how she and Rock could better contribute to New LA. Oh, I thought Rock was saying this. 
Never mind. Okay. So, Selica ran away. Let's head to the administrative district. Because that's where uh, she is, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's where she is, but that's where the quest marker is. <laughs> hmm, I wonder where... Uh, we have to find information from somebody. Curse you, information. I just want to be handed things on a silver platter. About that. Why can't I just talk to somebody? Why can't Vandom just know where she is? I actually have no idea who it is I'm supposed to talk to. Who it is I'm supposed to, like, overhear. Oop. Yeah. Found it. <laughs> Small Xenoform girl said she wanted me to ton of. Well, I didn't get to read that. <laughs> this for friends years old. Yep, and get this. Come on. You can make it cross. You can make it. Okay, fine. Speaking of Andem. Saved that Celica girl a while back, yeah? That's right. Why? Did something happen? Well, she came by with this look on her face. Asked what a person has to do to become a blade. And what did you tell her? Well, I was just joking that clearing a mission solo would be a good start, but... Suddenly she looked all serious and just turned and headed off. That sounds like trouble. We've got to find her. Yeah, I figure. With that look, there's no telling what she might be planning, you know? You shouldn't tease people who ask serious questions. Bad mustache man. Yeah, you're but... right, you're right. My bad. Yeah, Vandom, that's uh that's on you. She can't have left the city yet. I'm gonna assume that she's left the city. She can't have left the city yet. <laughs> uh, the uh, sunny in Philadelphia theme plays. She, Celica had left the city. Yep, and get this. This for friends years old. That's Gonna be the crazy. same person over here. Serious? <laughs> really? Followed by a massive Xeno giant. He was scared that actually, you know what? He'd still be nearby, so I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> oh. Hi there, Rock. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Elma. What's wrong, Rock? Is it Celica? Yeah, she was talking all crazy. Said she was going to join Blade and make us both citizens of NLA. She's trying to work for both of us so I won't have to fight. I knew it. What do we do? She went to a place called Silverum to pick Selenian Sage all by herself. What? That place is swarming with all kinds of terrible indigens. Yeah, Silverum is the Not worst place you could have gone. Please, Aside from Kaltros, I guess. Her. Of course, Rock. She's our <gasps> friend, too. Selka, why didn't you just pick a mission in Primordia? Or Noctilum? You've been to both of them. Primordia's right here. Selka, seriously? <laughs> so listen. Why would you pick Silverum? I honestly thought it was supposed to be a Noctilum mission, but no, it's like, it's Silvalum, what? <laughs> Alright. Should be right here. Oh yeah, we did bring Rock with us. According to this. Selenian Sage grows in this cave. And Selica's already in there, huh? What the matter? Rock scared? No, I'm not. 
There's nothing to be ashamed of, Rock. I'm no fan of spooky caves either, believe me. It's just some bad people used to make me do some very bad things. They always kept me in a dark, cramped place when they took me around. This must be hard for you, huh? You can wait outside if it's easier. No, I'll go. I have to help Celica. I'll help you both. That's really nice, but I can't ask you to do that. I have to help Celica myself. Rock, we want to help you, the same way you want to help her. And accepting help from your friends doesn't make you any less of a hero. I guess you're right. Okay, then. Rock, you are the greatest hero. You are a good boy. <laughs> I love that big toothy grin There's he gives nothing. us. Rock just needs to be brave like Tatsu, and everything fine. Now let's go find Pretty Lady. Do 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 do. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Did we run into a cutscene? You okay, Rock? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> More bad memories? A little, but it must be a lot harder for poor Celica. What does Rock mean? Those bad people I told you about? The ones that used me? It was the Ganglion. <gasps> I did something terrible to Celica's village. But she saved me anyway. And she's done so countless times since. Aww. So that's what happened. I have to help her. She came all the way out here for me. Then let's catch up with her before anything bad can happen. Yeah. They just picked up Wow. Fine then. I'll use the Phoenix. <laughs> Not the voice you're expecting from Rock. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's exactly the voice that I expect. Anyway, so about, uh, Rock's thing there. So, I don't know the legitimacy, the legitimacy of this exactly. But this is something I saw a lot when Xenoblade Chronicles X was first coming out, was that, like, there was originally a plan to have, uh, originally, uh, Dagon, Reese, Celica, and Rock were going to be a lot more interconnected. Basically, it was going to be that... Reese and Celica were from the same village that Rock and Dagon basically like were ordered by the Ganglion to attack. And so it's like Dagon convinced Reese to join the Ganglion and Celica convinced Rock to to uh as, to uh, leave the Ganglion. Like I said, I don't know the legitimacy of this, but it was supposed but it's something that made sense and like when that storyline got kind of scrapped, they just they redesigned uh they redesigned Reese in order to uh, make her more distinct. But you can still see that they look very similar. I 
another thing. Eh, we'll get into this part a bit later, actually. There is one other thing I do want to talk about with uh, Rock and Celica, but we'll get to that later. And again, like I said, I don't know if that was ac that was actually uh, a confirmed thing or not, or if it was just a rumor people were spreading around. I never found anything con concrete to say yes or no either way. I could believe it being I believe it being just something somebody made up because it sounds it sounds good and plausible. But there were a lot of various random there are a lot of random story elements that uh X was originally going to have that eventually got cut because a lot of the uh when X was uh no longer really being uh given as much of a story presence. Is that? That is. That's what I'm hearing. I'm just like, there's a tyrant somewhere. Whew. Yeah, let's not attack that thing. That's a large enemy. Run to the safety of the cutscene. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Man, good on you, Rock, for catching that Rock. thing. Why are you? I'm sorry, Celica. I may not be able to fight, but I can at least be your shield. Oof. Oh, Rock. Nice going, Rock. We can take care of things from here. We'll you know, that's again. usually where a wild an a wild up. animal getting thrown okay. into a rock. That's usually when uh, they decide to not continue the fight. That's when they determine that it's that's when they determine that it is not worth anything. But not every single thing on Mira determines that uh, it's like it determines like uh fight to the death. Now. Time to send you back where you came from. Oh no, Lin is almost Lin is dead. Never mind.
There we go. Doggy, what happened to your skull? Maybe that tyrant killed it. That's actually very likely what happened. I think uh, Celica is right at the entrance of the cave. No, I'm yeah, I'm just running. Screw you, game. For letting some random enemy see me from below the from below the whatever. Blow a wall. Is everyone all right? Are you all right? I'm quite fine, thank you. A few scrapes are nothing if it means being able to help Rock. But why are you all here? Uh, to help Same you. Same as you. A few scrapes weren't going to stop us from lending you a hand. Same goes for Rock, right? So, did you find the Selenian Sage? I did. Then congratulations. That means you passed. But only because you helped me. Now nah, we didn't help you get the sage. Blades all work in teams anyway. Heck, we spend most of our time bailing other blades out left and right. <laughs> that is true. Blade now, Salica. And any who disagreed will face angry and scary wrath of Elva. We should be getting back home. Sounds good. Home. No. Oh. No, I don't want to party with you, Alexis. Ready for TRG Coliseum 2? Yeah, I'm ready to die. <laughs> nah, I'm a, I am actually excited. Uh, TRG Coliseum does hold a... Does hold a place in my heart because that's how I became a mod. Yeah, I'm excited for it. It's gonna be fun. Sad, sad Reese can't be there, but. Mm. Man, oh man. I can't believe you actually went out there on your lonesome. Thankfully, I had Rock's assistance. Not to mention Elma and the others. Look, I heard Elma's report. She told me about how you found that Selenian sage all by yourself. So, this means Celica passed blade test? Sure does, with flying colors. Yes! Congratulations, Celica. Thank you. But what does this mean for Roth? Can he stay too? Hmm? Well, since he's a Blades family member, I don't see why not. Those ganglion scumbags are gonna be after us either way, right? <laughs> I fear the matter isn't so simple. Oh, come on, dude. It's premature to say there is no chance of peace with the ganglion. <laughs> No, I, I think it's no longer premature. What? But if you were to prove yourself an asset to New LA, it would be different. Oh, oh. Come on, how many times do we have to go over this? Rock isn't fighting. <laughs> There's no other option. Rock has to fight. Nah, I'm gonna go with this. Is this the point where you offer to fight in his place? Sure. I do it all the time. No, I won't have anyone getting hurt for me again. It scares me, but I'll fight. <laughs> I I we blew up a giant I'm robot in Silvalum for all of NLA. Gentlemen of your strength, very favorable employment terms. Huh? But you still have the right to choose. You're free to contribute to building our city, or you can find a home elsewhere. Also, this is probably a really sweet, uh. Then I'll do it. That's one really sweet comp. Really sweet thing that shows on found for us. 
not scum, Jen. I was simply making the necessary preparations, as one must. Yeah, yeah. Be careful, you'll make him blush. <laughs> Nod. I look firmly into into Shosan's eyes, and I nod very firmly. If you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Maybe under all that bluster, he's just a big softy looking for a hug. Oh. Rock, do you want to give him a hug? Test out that theory. Yep, and. Right there, the Xeno girl joins up, which means we can now use Celica. Uh, I don't recall what her actual, uh, what it is that she actually uses. We got, a uh, Knife Heart Black Bane. So we got all but I think one of the party members, of the possible party members. I don't, I think, there's only one more I can think of and like she, I think you can't get that one until like, uh, until the end of the game or, cha or after chapter 11. It's one of those two. But I think we have everybody else. I very quickly, uh, nope, wrong, wrong one. Very quickly check here in order to get the skull back for the insurance. Um. Yeah, Zelka has a very cool design. BFF's affinity mission. What? That sounds familiar. It sounds like one we've actually done already. I was checking what uh, Selka's next uh, next uh, affinity quest actually does. What is BFF's? Okay, it's the knob on one. Yeah, okay, we've done that already. Um uh, let's actually get let's actually get Zelka. Let's use her for a bit. Zelka was the uh basically the way that I did characters was uh I think I used Arena for a while, then I switched to L. And then I switched to Celica, and Celica was basically who I finished the game with. Yes. Listen, yep. While I confess I'm not fully able to conquer my fear of combat, I'm proud to report that I'm now officially a blade operative. So perhaps you could like take me along with you. Yeah, I'll sure. We'll dump. We'll dump the defense secretary for you. Welcome to the team. So another thing about Zelka was that another design thing was, uh, and this is like in the concept art and in the Art of Mirror book, so this is actually, I think, all but confirmed, was uh, there were plans to have uh, Rock as a unique skull to Zelka, and he would have like a basket on his back, and you, and just, uh, it was going to be a thing, I think, before even the character, the, like, uh, the idea of the avatar care the of like cross being an avatar came into play. That was gonna be something if you played as Elka, it would be very unique to her. Oh, thank God. Obviously, that never came because Rock doesn't fight. <laughs> so, you know, how's that battle probe treating you? I hope it's been smart how you use it. Eh, it's been lifesaver. Yeah, sure. 
We haven't used it, but still. Where's Faith? Uh, Earth Lake Colonization Project, you understand? Now it's for the city and Blade, so com compliments mean nothing to me. My own desire is for stubborn idiots in the arms industry to wake up and take notice. And, I'll, and I need your help for it. Regardless, the design for my next type of battle probe is ready to go into production. This series generates the melee attack boost effect. Calls for 1,500 units of uranium. I think I have enough. Any luck? I just need the uranium. Yeah, I have plenty. Maybe is at one of these puppies activated, Blade will be able to take on more powerful enemy like it's nothing. It's beautiful, I'm a proud papa over here. Gentlemen, behold! A new series of battle probes! As well as corn! Uh, go, go punch something huge, have fun. Meantime, I'll get working on my Netflix design. Uh, one thing I do want to do, because this is something that I keep forgetting to do. Need to make sure, need to find out where it is. That isn't actually able to be done. Huh. That's interesting. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, on the map, there's like a, uh, a sort of empty square for NLA hey, on FN site, and I thought that you there was actually a way to get to it, but apparently I'm just wrong. Uh, I don't know what else I want to do. I'll be honest, I really just where I really I've really been wanting to do Chapter 11. Uh. But I want to get Zelka up a few levels. Um, I guess I can grind for a couple of uh, random parts. All right then. I want Zelika to be slightly stronger. But I just really want to do chapter 11 because I really like how that one goes. I really want to show it off. Ah, nope, nope. Get out of this thing before that thing sees me. Those things are terrifying. And also, I can use this as an excuse to, uh... I can use this as an excuse in order to get more, uh, fuel. You're not targeting me, really. I almost feel insulted. Close. 
Oh, I got another phoenix. Nice. Uh, what kind of phoenix did I get? Skill weapons. Oh, ho, ho. That one's nice. That's gonna be... That's uh, replacing the one I'm wearing right now. How's this, uh... Oh. I can't use that one. That's level 50. BB sword. Ooh, that one's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Alright, return to scale. Yeah, I did attempt. Very happy about that. Phoenix is a very strong weapon, as I've already said. That's not what I wanted to do. What the heck? What is attacking us? That would explain that. I suddenly saw myself at half health. I'm just like, whoa, what just happened? God, I hate these things so much. Because they're everywhere in Silvalum. They are everywhere in Silvalum and so mad. <laughs> so annoying. Please leave me alone. are really high level yeah and they're large it's not even the it's not so much the high level it's the fact that they're massive <laughs> one and done what I'm curious what that achievement is yeah because if you remember, Elmo was just like, uh, large enemies are uh, much harder to take out. So like I got a class up. <laughs> Selka, are you okay? <laughs> Running around there? Okay, these things actually aren't giving as much experience. I'm pretty sure these things are literal. I'm pretty sure these things also probably do a lot of damage to scale specifically. Because they are almost. Because it's obvious that these are just like the deterrents, just like, hey, guys, remember, scales don't solve everything. They exist for no other reason than that. The ox serves are a bit of the same. 
So those are generally even lower leveled. Let's head over here. If you're wondering why I decided to leave that, I got a, I got an extremely good, uh, because I got an extremely good Phoenix, and that's basically all I was really looking for with these guys. Can I head over here actually? Attack these guys. Because these are much easier to uh, get um, fuel from. And also aren't surrounded by enemies that will kill me in a second. Also, we can get bloody faces from them. That doesn't really have anything to do with that, but uh, it's still funny. And uh, if you're wondering, yes, I could spend Meranium, but why would I spend Meranium when I can just uh, stagger things? Like, I have two stagger arts. It's really easy. Plus, these guys are higher level than Selka, so she gets more EXP from them. It's how I got, uh... Well, I was grinding off of these guys in order to get their items that they drop, uh... Uh, Gwyn and Arena both got above level 30, and, and Nagi grew a bunch of levels, too. <laughs> May I bring Rock along? Sorry, Selka, you aren't. Rock isn't allowed to eat Lin's food. I don't actually remember. It was like an all you. I think they were talking about like an all you can eat buffet at a restaurant. I don't think that they would allow rock. I wonder how an all you can eat buffet would deal with a bean like rock showing up. Like, uh, how, how would they be able to deal with it? For one, how would they have the food for it? And two, just like, even if they didn't have the food for it, how could they uh, send Rock away? Just like, no, you aren't allowed to eat here. Need a building size buffet table. <laughs> kind of, yeah. God, I love I love that I found out that binding restores fuel. Cause this is so much nicer than just sitting around the scale waiting for it to uh, 
waiting for it to just refuel naturally or to spend Meranium. This is so nice. Overdrive just so I don't waste the fuel. His GP is easy enough to get. Oh, I'm flying. Wasting fuel. Alright, so I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think we're going to take a quick break. This is a bit earlier than when we usually do. We're gonna take that break and then we're gonna start chapter 11. I just really want to show it off because I love the chapter so much. Uh, so then, let me get this up. And let us find something. Is this a song? This is Oblivia. Eh, good enough. I don't have the names. I need to rename all my Xenoblade X songs so that I actually know what songs which. Anyway, I'll...
All right then, we are back. Let us start off. Wait, what? Ten percent of cultures. Ah, <laughs> dang it! I'm at six. Uh, that's easy enough to finish though. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, and all we're starting off the next chap. We're starting off chapter eleven, guys, and then bloop. Yeah, I thought we had enough of Caldros. <laughs> uh. Listen, all that fuel I got. Sorry for debating you guys. Wow, you are really following us. These guys are very, very persistent. Could also be because we're flying through a swarm of them. This seems like one of the worst uh, event sites I probably could have gone for. Take that! <laughs> oh, that's always so good. That's so much fun. It's always the best feeling in the world when you... Uh, Get an FN site you should by no means be able to get. Surrounded by all those level 60 enemies. Could this be the power-up button? And... Boop. We have quite a few enemies. Let's test out how this phoenix works. Selka's skull has been destroyed. I did give her another phoenix, so that's probably why she just aggroed all of these things. Thought I saw the red line. Nope. Come on, stop following us. Fine. Okay, disconnect from the server, that's fine. Game? 
There you go. Guys, honestly, how are you blowing up your scales so quickly? Oh my goodness, there's another one as well. No, Lynn, what do you mean? Please explain it. Oh my goodness! to me like the FN side will be inside of a thing like here. And that's why they pay me the big bucks. And that's the 10% that we need. Plus we need to repair Flynn and Celica's scales. Because apparently those two think they're disposable or something. I'm so very glad that NPCs cannot use up a scale insurance. That would be very, uh, actually... Uh, as much as I actually- as much as I thought it would be helpful, let's remove that. Let's not give, uh, party members a phoenix. Now let's start up chapter 11. So, what should I whip up today? Uh, hmm. How special. And guess what the house special is? It's Tatsu in a bath! It didn't sound very good. We'd better get to the hangar ASAP. Oh my goodness, she finally said ASAP. Oh, you have no idea how many times they're just like, uh, we need to get this place ASAP. Like, every single time they kept saying ASAP. And now finally, Elma said ASAP. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love the Tatsu for dimmer. <laughs> yes, Leslie, a fellow lover of Tatsu bean food. Uh, Alright, here's my stance on it. Like, they're gonna be making the food jokes no matter what. You can either embrace it or you can just be annoyed about it. I choose to find them. F I choose to find them funny. All right, here we are at the hangar. So what happened? Boy, have you lost your mind? You know Did he have it to begin with? Data means to us, to our entire race. Of course I do. It means an end to this giant lie. I've been waiting a long time for this. <laughs> Matt Mercer, no! Commander, what's going on? Ask Lau. We caught him stealing a data terminal with classified intel. Stealing intel? Explain yourself, Lau. <laughs> You should have let me die that day, Elmo. You knew the truth. That I was a Ganglian spy. What? I had my suspicions. But I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> your mistake. And it'll cost you. The data and your newest skull, the Prague Ares. But the Ganglion will appreciate the gift. Boy, I am gonna kick your ass so hard, your real body will feel it. Not if you value your precious data. Wow! What the hell's going on here? Oh, look at this. The whole gang's coming out to say goodbye. What the hell, Lau? Hmm. Hold your fire. Wonder what happens if you have either any of those three on your uh in your party. Damn it. Cuz it didn't say it was restricted. Policy. Sorry, Duck. You would betray all your friends? Your entire species? Well, I'm no big fan of theirs, believe me. The talking cats or that giant leech. But the ganglion and I share a common goal. Oh no. Wow, betrayed us because we've recruited it, the Rothians. I knew it. So, yeah, Lau was a traitor. <laughs> Me saying just like, oh, but which one would I have picked? Well, you all know how FrontierNav uses the White Whale's trajectory data to simulate potential crash scenarios, then cross-checks it with our probes to narrow down possible lifehold coordinates. Well, all that work paid off. We finally got enough probes in the ground to accomplish what we've been trying to do. In other words, we can isolate every possible landing zone and scan them to find the lifehold core. What? Oh, oh! Are you certain? That's what the eggheads tell me. <laughs> yeah, Lau's very... 
Cloud's a very great character. That's why I love this chapter so much. It's because of Lao, isn't it? I don't get it. I think I do. That's right. He took the terminal that was analyzing the data and deleted all the backups for good measure. Can it be redone? We already started over. But the coordinates were calculated from a massive amount of accumulated data. Redoing all the work we did up until this point could take weeks, if not more. Which means the life hold would run out of time first, and then who? Bingo. Then we have no choice. We have to find Lao and recover that terminal. For now, let's assume he's headed for that ganglion stronghold we heard about north of Silvalor. We'll need to hurry. I just hope that Gajarg guy was telling the truth. Everything is riding on this mission. Don't screw it up. Yeah, we don't we don't have that time to screw it up. What the hell is he after? Alright, we need to head to Caldros. This is one of the actual longer chapters in the uh, game. I guess technically it can be shorter if you like explored the thing. Because that's that's a thing. A lot of chapters are as long or as short as, uh, as, as much you've explored previously. Yeah, this th this giant building, if you couldn't tell, is the ganglion stronghold. Wait, this giant building that's surrounded by uh, ganglion uh, ganglion skulls is a uh, stronghold. What? I don't feel like fighting it, so I'm just going to uh, get to the cutscene. in the middle of the large chamber on the other side of this structure. Do you think we found Lao then? He can't be far. Let's go. Okay. Oh man, we're the girl squad. I just realized with Celica here. Um I have no idea how to open this. Hmm. All right. Let's look around and see if we spot another entrance. Especially Tatsu. <laughs> Tatsu is very much part of Girl Squad. But how about door up over there? And also, welcome to the section of the game where they're just like, yeah, you're not, you don't get to use skills. try and get as much TP as I can before we actually have to get to the boss.
I don't need an aura, so I'm fine. I'm fine to use it for here. I got another couple of arts. Whoop. Early bird. No. <laughs> yep. Alert. Red alert. Red alert. Oh, yeah. I should. Uh... Grand barrier. Yeah, that's good. Uh, sliding slinger. That's not. Sliding slinger is good. Black bane, I'm pretty sure, is good. Either damage, more debuffs. Yeah. Want Screamer for that. Get Primer up. Boost DP with Criticals, that's fine. Full Specs. Boost Potential, boost Range Attack, boost Ether Resistance. Early Bird, Critical Power, boost Critical Chance, boost Evasion. Oof. I don't actually know which one I want more. Selka currently doesn't have a... Selka currently doesn't have uh, too many... Uh, too many debuff arts, so Blackbane generally has Screamer and... Uh, Combat Limbo. She only has Screamer and then eventually Black Butterfly, which is not for a while. So I don't. So Black Bane isn't the most helpful. I love to spell for a bit though. Uh. You know what? Let's give her Black Bane, though. Darn it! <laughs> that was helpful. Uh, actually, I guess since I give a lot of debuffs, it wouldn't be too bad. Also, this is also a very interesting chapter because we're actually invading the ganglion and it's like this huge, uh, huge assault. It reminds me a lot of, uh, reminds me a lot of, uh, of when we're in Galahad Fortress in, uh, Xenoblade. Xenoblade 1. Okay, you guys are doing bit poorly right now. Let's uh, heal you up and give you a barrier.
let's go with this. And Sandy will make sure I'm unbeatable. Well, not unbeatable, but uh, nigh unkillable. Everybody else doing okay? We're fine. We got one, we got two fine red belts. Let's uh let's focus on one of them. Let's go for this instead. Lynn's getting damaged a fair amount. Ah, I missed. Selica is getting hurt quite a bit. Let's go for Mind Storm. I'm not in really any danger, but I'll go for it. with uh, Selica. Plus, there wasn't really too much to worry about at that point. Oof. Oh, okay, I'm just like, <gasps> wait a second, I didn't think this was the way, eh, because it isn't. Now, one other Marmok here.
poop. Sure. Oh, wow, Selke, you are almost dead. Oh, come on, I missed. I know that Selka is very underleveled for this area, but I just really like her. She's really cute. Ah, oh, thank goodness I have the right archaeological for this. After you damage electric thing, that's a scale augment. Cool. Um. Wait, what? Wait a second. <laughs> we just walked past the tyrant. We just walked past the tyrant. We just walked past the tyrant. Wow. Uh, Barty, keep your tension up. There's really no reason for you guys to be using things. It requires TP against this guy. I'm pretty sure I can keep you guys alive well enough. Just mind storm. Do I want to take that out just to prove that I can? <sighs> nah. If this game's gonna give me an out, I'll take it. Excuse me, sir. I'm just gonna take this elevator and walk right past you. <laughs> Got a bullet storm. There we go. Got this out. Oh no, who's the hyper beam? Wow. Oh, it has a it has an arc that causes it to not causes me to miss things or an aura of some kind.
A solar wind converter. There we go. Not a lot of credits from that. Or what wind converter work? Yeah, I have no idea. Darn. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, I didn't get as much TP as I would have wanted from that, but oh well. He died too quickly. There are a lot of solar wind converters. Now we're in the central chamber, though. We have this guy to deal with. Somehow I knew something like this was going to happen. The clock's ticking. Take it down quickly. Hey guys, keep your tension up. Oh my goodness. up Another reality ripped out before the end. Nice. I really like reality rift because it uh, doesn't have like too much of a range lock on it. it. Lets me get TP very easily. Because of the uh, bonus from using a uh, what do you an attack versus then a debuff. Part of a machine. Silly friends, it obviously keyed to big door from before. I actually think he's right. I uh, okay. Wow. This way we can ride our scales in. Yep. Exactly. Exactly as Lynn says, this is... It is interesting that they did give us a thing where it's just like, oh, you can't use your skills, and then... Though, granted, they still, like, make it so that you can use it for the very end. I'm gonna bring the skill in. I don't know if I will use it. What the heck is... Elevator is ready for use. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but now to begin this part...
Hi, Lau. How are you? Luxart, her leader, trembles at the idea we might get our bodies back. That's why he had me stick around here, to keep you out of his tendrils. You knew we had no choice. We had to chase after that stolen data terminal. None of this will matter soon. Once they destroy the Lifehold core and all of us with it, this will all be over. You don't sound so excited anymore. Of course I'm excited. Why wouldn't I be? We can finally stop living this goddamn lie. We'll all be free at last. We'll all be dead, Lau. How does that free anyone? Instead of reuniting with our real flesh and blood? You're wrong. We're already dead, Lau. Our flesh and blood burned away with you. Listen, Lau, we don't have time for a debate here. We came here for that terminal, and we're taking it back with us, whether you like it or not. Of course. You wouldn't want to hear this, would you? Or have them hear it. Fair enough. Time to start up the fight against Lau. Yes, Elka, it's the power up button. for the Phoenix. I can't, Elma. I don't have the capacity. Unbound. This is wrong. Humanity should have died out along with the Earth. We should have let nature take its course and accepted our fate. You don't believe that, Lau. If you did, you would have never volunteered to work on Project Exodus in the first place. Or on the White Whale's crew. Well, I was a believer once. I honestly thought we could pull it off. I knew we couldn't save everyone, of course. Billions of people in that time frame. <laughs> but a cross-section of races? Religions? Yes, it felt like all the usual politics disappeared. People from different countries had to come together. There was no other choice. This was survival. So I signed up. So what happened? It was all lies. If you weren't rich, or connected, or part of the first world elite, you got left to die on Earth. What? Oh, yes. The only reason people like you and me got on board the White Whale was because they could use our skills, exploit our talents. But everyone else, all those countless souls boxed up in your precious lifehold core, the same elitist bastards that decided they're the only part of humanity worth saving. No. If you don't believe me, ask Elma. I can't say I agreed with how all the passengers were chosen. 
but I hardly see how it justifies this madness. We were acting to save the human race. I never understood why humans separate themselves off. Race, by class, religion, country, age. As if it matters in the end. On a genetic level, the differences are insignificant. No, not insignificant. Not to humans, but really. How could you understand, Elma? Sorry, but I won't let those bastards purge what made us human. I'll kill us all first. Now, look. I admit I had no idea about any of this. But killing what's left of us isn't going to solve anything. It's you playing God instead of them. How is that fair? <laughs> Don't talk to me about fair. It's a fair what happened to my wife and little girl. Oh. That's why I volunteered. I didn't sign up for Project Exodus because I wanted to save the human race. No. I signed up for Project Exodus because I wanted to save my family. We knew there were no guarantees we'd be chosen, of course. We promised each other we'd accept our fate either way. But at least this way, we had a chance. We had something to hope for. Hope was all we asked for. But there was never any hope. Not really. The decision was already made. We just didn't know it yet. These scum deserve to die, Alma. No one deserves to die, Lao. Tell that to Charmaine. And Chenchi. Tell it to everyone we left back on Earth. And you knew. You knew they'd seal the fate of all those people. And then you lied. You lied about why no one could know who made it onto this ship until after launch. The decision came down to saving a subset of humanity or total extinction. I stand by that decision. And I'd do it again. <clears throat> Enough talk. I don't expect you to agree with every decision that was made in the past. But I won't let you destroy humanity's future. Fair enough. I don't expect you to agree either. But that won't stop me! No, I was like, this is this is one reason why I always get a bit shocked when people are just like, yeah, Xenoblade X has no story. There's no good moments in it. It's nothing like the original. Like, I really like Lau right here. Like, yeah, he's a terrible person, but like his motives are so justified. He's like, these are the people. The only people on the White Whale are pe the only people in the Life Old Core or elitists who chose that or elitist scum who chose to kill everybody else just so they can live they have no right to live and also there's a bit there's a bit of a, a bit of uh subtleties with one thing if you don't if you didn't realize it i'm not going to say exactly what it is also gonna say if you know in chat if you know or have a theory about in chat keep it to yourself i don't want to do it like that but it's not invincible it's invincible at the moment where why does it keep having invincible show up let's go into overdrive Osher cannon. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you really feel, you really feel Matt Mercer does a wonderful job with Lau in here. 
Ah, Celica lost her scalp. Not the end of the world, though. Avatar Missile right here. Also, I really love this song. This holds a really huge place in my heart, because, like... I remember when I was first doing this mission, I ended up, like, uh... Like, everybody else died. Everybody else lost their skills, everybody else died. And then it was me, uh... Then it was me just, like, uh... Like, uh, being alone with Elle and my scale, and we were just... Doing, it felt like a really huge battle where we were just const we constantly kept climbing up until the top. I think we actually passed the roof, even before I I don't even recall if I won that fight or not. But it was just it's something I remember from the first time I played this game, and it was so magical. That's why I really that's why I really wanted to get to uh, chapter 11. Like basically, as soon as we started X, I was constantly looking forward to chapter 11. Uh, so okay. Oscar Cannon didn't do anything good, or at least didn't hit me. Let's go for overdrive once more. Got this out. Nice. In case you're wondering how I said uh, Xenoblade X only has a couple of villains that I think done well, Lau is basically what saves the villains for me in this game. Shoot his foot. All humanity hanging in the balance. Gotta love those odds. So, what are you waiting for? <laughs> no, Elma, not like this! Step aside, Glyn. If I can shut down his men, there's still a good chance we can extract the data afterwards. No, damn it, that's not even the point! We're all on the same side here! Not really, Lynn. Hey, look, Cross is doing. Cross is making an actual decision. You too. Shoot and blow the. <laughs> Elma, listen. I. I understand Lau's anger. I lost my family to an accident a long time ago. But if someone promised me a chance of saving them. And that was all a self-serving lie? I... Who knows what I would do? Lillian... It's disturbing, and corrupt, and disgusting, and yet... That's exactly what makes us human! Maybe... Maybe we really should have been wiped out of existence. But... But then... Abandoning my little crusade. I guess I'm just as corrupt as everyone else. Wow. <laughs> I changed my mind. Changed your mind? I thought this was about them, but somewhere along the way, it became about me and about revenge. It's over now. So go. The Lifehold Corps has built in auto defenses. It'll take them some time to destroy it. If you hurry, you might still make it in time. 
He's right. There's no time to lose. Lin, can you finish the analysis here? It's technically possible, but without the full NLA mainframe working on it, it would take way too much time. Then we have no choice. Let's get back to the city ASAP. Good thing he, she went back to ASAP. Come back with us to New LA. Yeah, right. As if I could ever set foot inside that city again. It won't be like that. Not once everyone knows the facts, at least. They might not agree, but they will understand. You're naive, Lynn. You can lock me up and toss away the key. Or worse, a lot worse. Maybe, but that's on you. You have a lot to answer to. So either way, we're taking you back with us. I'd rather be shot. <laughs> Come on, Lau. Let's go home. Fine, whatever. But there's no time to eat that me. You go ahead. But that's... Alma. He's right, Lin. Time is running out. We need to move. And fast. All right, then. We'll send some medics for you, okay? Just stay put. Until then, you're not allowed to die, you hear me? We'll see you back in New LA. Sure. Great, you got it. Now, would you go already? <laughs> okay. Tatsu will split special lunchbox with Lau. Because Lindley says Lau not allowed to die. So Lau stay alive for Lindley or else. Or else Tatsu kill him. <laughs> See, even Tatsu gets good moments. then so yeah that's another moment where it's just like i like that cross made a decision for themselves but they couldn't have gotten the they couldn't have gotten one voice line for them to put into the main story it's like oh, come on that is the one moment where it would have made the most sense to have cross say something and they didn't do it that is one problem I have with with making Cross a mute. A lot of times I think it's funny. I do like the dialogue options that they give, but it's just like, ah, oh, you had one moment that would have been perfect for it, and you didn't take it. Still doesn't ruin Chapter 11 for me. Chapter 11, I like it way too much. Tell me you got it. Yes, sir. Thank God. Let's get it analyzed. Commander, hold on. Lau's still back at the gangway and I love how relieved Vandom sounds. Just like, thank God. Yeah? And? What exactly are you getting at? I know you aren't suggesting we help that backstabbing bastard. He tried to kill you guys. I am, but... He's been through a lot, Commander. You know his story as well as anyone. Uh, 
<laughs> He's been through a lot. When we signed off on Project Exodus, we knew there'd be cases like Lau. Potentially hundreds of them. Look at Irina. She's still struggling with losing her brother. But we moved forward anyway, for the greater good of mankind. Irina didn't try to kill <coughs> In fact, she's been doing everything she can to help further Blade's cause. Are you sure? Hmm? Yeah, about that. According to Gwyn, she's been acting strange, <coughs> reckless, almost suicidal. He thinks maybe she wants to die. <sighs> it takes different forms, but it's coming from the same place as Lau. Of course, it's no excuse for what he's done, just putting it in perspective. Fine. We'll bring him in. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Commander. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Especially after I break every bone in his body. <laughs> it's going to take a bit to complete the analysis. Let's regroup at the barracks. I do like how most of this is just uh, us not not wanting to completely corrupt an old, a thirteen year old. <laughs> all right. What are the requirements for chapter twelve? <laughs> Obtain, obtain the scale flight module. So we can do chapter 12, apparently. We can do chapter 12 now. We are not going to. Uh, I wouldn't be completely against doing it next time we stream a Xenoblade, but I would... Uh, yep, and get this. That would be a Friday. Actually, that might be the best day to finish the game. Ugh. But I, but uh, we are not doing it, and we're not doing it at forty-five. Oh, chapter twelve took me so many tries. That's why I'm not even gonna pretend to pretend to want to do it now. Like I want to get to fifty just so I can get a level fifty skull before we actually do it. Uh. Yeah, we can do this very quick man on thing. It took me, I think it took me three days to get through, maybe not that many, but it took me a long time to get through chapter 12. Because I was not prepared so many times, and like I, I think I mentioned this before, whenever we were doing the Rothians, the final boss was the time I had to give up and let the game uh let the game lower its difficulty level just so i could do it we'll get into that story a bit more when we actually do this but give twenty thousand credit in exchange for ten thousand units of meranium here we go easy enough Bronze my regime, step right up. Alright, business is booming. <laughs> In chapter one? Against the Grexes? Or do you mean chapter three against uh against the Sinicula? The Sinecula Chapter 2, I don't recall. I don't recall how... The early chapters blend together really easily. That's... First Nocturnal Box. That's Goetia. That's four. Yeah, Go Goetia took me forever as well. Uh, let's talk to the Orphe.
I thank you for your help in Noctilum, human. Without you, we would not have reached New LA. I was just discussing plans for the future of my people. Though discussing plans is an inaccurate and overly human description of our action. We Orphea are not susceptible to difference in opinion. This activity is merely a final verification for the sake of formality. Very true. We are servants of the Ova. Disagreement is a practical impossibility. What is the Ova? The Ova is our reason for existence and the incontrol the incontrovertible will that guides us. It is peace itself to my kind, and also the thread that links us together. In truth, it is somewhat difficult to express in words, but we feel it quite viscerally within us. Tell me, Kunlurab, Kun what are Sun Silej and Kunlurab? <laughs> Uh, gathering them here is your responsibility as our leader. I did not see, see Son Kilag here, so I sent Konlurab out to meet him. The probability of him arriving tardy was a scant 6.4%. I hope no trouble has befallen him. Konlurab, we have a problem. I was searching for Son Kilag. Kilag. God, these names are so... D I'm just gonna say the first part of these names. I cannot deal with this. <laughs> Along the way, evidence of Definian infiltration here at here in New LA. Definians? Why would Sun have... Then why Sun... Are they why Sun has not arrived? We can help. Thank you. It would please... I would please present your communication if you would please present your communication device, I will formalize our contract. Okay, we need to head to Blade Tower. We have an agreement we have we have an agreement then. Con please share all our pertinent information you have with this human. I saw that son on the residential district elevator. Watch him take it up on his way to the man on ship, then return to the residential district myself. Therefore, witnesses should be present wherever you went from there. As human yourself, gathering testimony from human residents should be a simple task. Please find where he is taken now, where he, he was taken as quickly as possible. Yeah, Goetia is definitely a uh, definitely can be a wall. Uh we haven't had too many walls during this playthrough. The only one I would really say we had was, uh... We did have to do, uh... I think we had to do the Syndicula, uh, twice. But the only real wall we had was, uh, against, uh, Gajar, the first run. Because I think we even did the scale version first try. Physical language didn't do crap against... <laughs> yep, no, sh that does not do anything. That would not help you at all against Goetia since, like... Goetia is basically the boss to tease you just like, Hey, yeah, don't focus on physical things, because I have electric damage. And a yeah. lot of it. Um... I'm seeing nobody here who has information at all. Yep. Unless this is like a day-night thing, in which case it's really dumb. Oh. Nope. nope. That's called for us. You are cross. I have tales of dealings with my kind. Precisely because of your reputation for strength, I would ask you to meet with my master. Concerns a business proposal of a discreet nature. I ask that you come to Industrial District at a night. 
interest, you understand the need for privacy. It's quite a lucrative offer. I assure you it will be worth your time. Until then. Well then. Ooh. Enter the barracks. Very quickly gonna change it today and then check around. Uh, oh yeah, also I found the, this thing and I found this thing and I'm just like, oh, I want to see this. Um, here's what the uh, Prague Aries looks like. Card. Oof, that's cool. Prog Aries. Yeah. Let's just play the Aries. After this quest, I am also going to end the stream because I do want to cook. I haven't eaten too much and I don't want to, like, uh, I don't want to facilitate that. I'm not feeling the most hungry right now, but I was earlier, so, like, uh, that means that I'm still hungry. It's just my brain is like, okay, you're not eating immediately, so gonna not, uh, get this give you that feeling right now, even though you are hungry. Yeah. Really game? Ugh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> oh, I was seriously about to be mad. It was just like it was actually hey. a day-night thing, though so it is still going to be a day-night thing. Maybe I wasn't actually. Eastgate. I can help. First we need to find Sun. Careful. No. Uh, I really wish the Orphe were like actually a part of the game. Were like actually a part of like hmm. storytelling in the game. You've got to be kidding me. Game, do not be this dumb. It's gonna be this dumb, isn't it? It is actually gonna be this dumb. To the point where I need to not only have changed the time, hey. ah, there it is. Need to change the time again. Check the evening. I don't know why I decided to check evening. That's not going to tell me anything. Don't get so don't get so reliant on your skill that you neglect your equipment when all else this is lost. The battle must be fall with ground gear. Eh, that is true. Hey. 
Uh, we're close to full up on Moranium, so... Let's deposit some of that stuff. Or not really deposit, invest it. Great battle. Hmm. I did not know about this stuff. Oh, okay. So you can do upgrades either you can either give like a actual upgrades to it, or you can uh, just give general uh, or you can use Eleanor to get general um uh, augment slots. I'm just choosing random numbers. So I think there's one other AM and it's one that I've never gotten before. So I don't know how to get it. There you are. Talk to another son about uh, information on son. You learn anything about son's whereabouts? Apparently he's in Oblivia. Oblivia? Hmm, troubling news. But that's good fortune, he was not killed on spot. It seems to indicate that they feel we are enough used of merit to keep alive. To keep alive. It may still be time to save Sun. We will make preparations to travel to Oblivia at once. It is best. We hurry. The Ova is quite restless. I believe there are a sign of larger things to come. You're especially tuned to Ova's nuanced activity. <laughs> Your concerns certainly merit consideration. I request that you travel on ahead and aid Sun however you can, Cross. Whatever his condition, we will use the extent of our knowledge to see him brought home safely, provided he is alive. I will go first. The Fenians possess considerable combat prowess, but I am confident you will be victorious. Now please make for Oblivia. This is also an interesting uh, resolution for the quest, if I recall. This is one I believe I've done before. Uh, light rank is uh, still only uh, seven. Why did someone have to come along now? Allow me to deduce the reason for your arrival. Hmm. Ah, yes, of course. Sun and the others sent you to rescue me. The tables have turned, Definian. Now it is you who is cornered, and with an 89% likelihood of your own demise. Quiet, fool, and you, human, come any closer and this one dies. If you want him to live, you will turn and walk away. <laughs> I'll take a step forward. A wise choice. She was clearly sent to take me back alive. A Definian underling like her would never have the authority to kill me. If that happened, she would be the next to die as punishment for disobeying orders. <clears throat> Damn you! It's true. I can't kill you. 
but I can make you wish for death once I kill this human. Time to swat down the flies before picking the legs off this insect. Okay. I'll weaken it. God, the phoenix is so broken. I love it. <gasps> did did Zelka just say bring rock along? I was really concerned about that. I'm just like that sounded really close and sounded like somebody was in the room. It was like, no, wait, that sounded like Celica. <laughs> Just like, ring locker, ring. I don't even think she said bring. It sounded like ring locker, ring rocker around. <laughs> oh. Your strength is almost feral to think that you were able to completely neutralize even a Definian. Clearly, we were correct to side with you humans. I hope you will continue to eradicate all who would do harm to us. <laughs> no target will escape my sight. Your tone inspires great confidence. You blades are a far more skilled pack of assassins than the Definians. In any case, let us hurry back to New L.A. We have mo no time to waste. We must assemble as many of our numbers on this planet as... As what? You were right. I will die. But I will not be... I will not go being mocked by insects. I will not go alone. Oh no! We failed to save him! Oh, my over fades. This is death then, but there is so much left to do. No! No, we were too late. Do not fret, son. You will live still. I do not have long, but yes. Let us use the Senrapa water to pass your knowledge and will on and on to the next generation. Kun, this is our last of our Senrapa water. If we use it now, we may find a new source of Senrapa water in time, but if Sun's wisdom is lost, it is gone forever. Use the Senrapa water, grow the life of Sun. What do you mean by growing life? Bear witness, human, to the continuation of an unbroken chain of Orphean life. Son, release your life onto the light. Release your ova into the light. The birth of Tan and Ten divided from the life of Sun. Then, my name is Tan Clegg. And I am Ten Clegg. Correct. New children of the Ova. I am pleased we were in time. You see, human, we do not engage in inefficient animal-like reproductive methods. We s multiply by fission, use the medium of sunny rapa water. Such is the power of the ova. Is it not a marvelous way of existence? <laughs> that thing is unnatural. No, nah, it's pretty natural. Many other races have shown an inability to understand. It seems you humans are a special lot. Uh, we have plenty of life on the planet that grows like this. So you guys are basically starfish. Except with water. 
instead of lopping off a limb. <laughs> I am sorry that you do not have Ova of your own. But Kun, what are we to do now that we have used the last of the Senarapa water? Do you think the four of us and our two new kin are enough to survive on this planet? We will return to New LA and make plans there. With our wisdom and the guidance of the Ova, we will find the proper course. I will follow whatever you will see fit to lead, Gun. Or rather, I have complete trust in, o in the Ova's urge to <laughs> place my trust in your judgment. I will return to the city at once. Thank you, human. Though Sun's life was lost, the worst outcome was avoided. I hope you will continue to be the strength of a strengthless people and to aid in the survival and prosperity of the Orphan. So that was a mission. <laughs> it was interesting. I did like. I do really like the missions where we get to learn more about the various races. But I think we are going to end this off now. Because I need to cook food. Uh, we've saved. And let us find ourselves our raid targets. Dun, 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 dun. Who could it be? Who could it be? Yep, food is good. Who is live at the moment? Yep. Thank, thank me for the stream. Thank you all for coming. We had a lot of people during the uh, peak of chapter 11. So then, currently, uh, what are you playing? Eh, not really feeling that. Not. Yeah, we can rage. We can rage Jiggy11, who is currently doing his every Zelda in April. Uh, currently playing a Zelda game that I cannot tell. It starts with the though, which narrows it down by a not at all. <laughs> it's not Link's Awakening then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I assume Wind Waker. Either way, thank you all for coming. If you are interested, you can follow my Twitters on the uh, screen at the moment. You can join the Discord by clicking that link. I will give notifications. Tomorrow we will be back to game clearing with Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars. We'll be back with Xenoblade on Friday. And yeah, let's start off the raid in five, four, three. Two, one.